Let's take a look at how you can threshold a grayscale image to binary using either manual or automatic techniques. Here I have an image of coins. I'm interested in separating the coins from their background and producing a binary or two-level image in which the coins are the foreground object and then this black felt background becomes the background object. Under grayscale, uh, I think thresholding says we actually need a grayscale image. This is still color at the moment. Let me quickly invoke this step right here most standard way of doing the conversion from color to grayscale is by extracting the luminance plane. All right, now go to grayscale, select our threshold step, and initially by default it says I'm looking for bright objects. You could also look for dark objects, or you could even look for objects that are at some intermediate gray level. In terms of bright objects, if you do a manual threshold selection, Essentially what you do is just either type in values or use that little slider to help you figure out based on looking at either the histogram information or by looking at the gray levels in the original image, trying to get a sense of where you need to apply that threshold so that you can separate the foreground from the background. Again, the uh, histogram gives you some sense of how to separate out foreground from the background. Works pretty well in some places, but not so well in others. One thing, as I mentioned earlier, you can look at the gray levels in the original image. And these are all right around 70 or 80 or, or so. And that can help to motivate the choice of your manual threshold. Probably never be perfect, at least not for this particular image, but this is pretty close. Also like to draw your attention to a number of the automatic thresholding tools that you might try as well. Some of these either will work better or less, less well for your application. It really just depends. So you, you might just try stepping through each of these. For each of the automatic ones, it also reports what is the threshold value that it landed on. The big advantage of an automatic thresholding technique is that it becomes less sensitive to lighting variation. That is, it can adapt to overall uh, or global changes in your illumination. So use, use an automatic one when you can. If, if that doesn't quite meet your needs, though, then uh, by all means use the manual, too.